I'm Harriet Scott, I'm 21 and I'm from Essex. Essex is a very different world to here, although it's so close, it could, I don't know, 40 minutes away on the train, it's still a complete different bubble and when I go back I'm shocked and kind of appalled at their attitude still, even though it's so close geographically, it's kind of, yeah, a whole other world and I, whenever I go home to visit, quite often, people are very taken aback by what London has transformed me into or opened up doors to, but they don't quite understand, but every time I go back I kind of see more progression and it is really hopeful, it makes me really happy. I identify myself as yeah, female because I embrace what it is to be female every day. I love everything about it and that's what I was what I belong in this world as I think. Um, I describe my sexuality as fluid really. I just kind of judge it on person, everyone I meet, I don't know, it's not got any gender assigned to it particularly. I just very loose and can change on the scale every every moment of the day really. Um, what can be changed about society? I've got a big long list in my head that goes on and on. Every day I find a new thing wrong with it. But um, I don't know, I think of examples, the education system, sex education particularly, is one thing that I hope to change on my existence here. Um, just everyone's completely restricted attitudes towards a lot of things, to do with gender and sexuality especially. But like, that's my aim is to push upon my views in a very, I don't know, non, what's the word, Com confrontational way. Um, I think drugs have always been, throughout, throughout history really, especially within queer culture, have always been a really important, I don't know, I don't know how it's any different now than it was, or has ever been. I think it's seen differently, more quite casual maybe, but, um, I currently am having quite a, I don't know, not not a identity crisis as such, but um, I have this kind of visual and attitude that I put on when I go out, when I meet people, when I am being my Harriet Scott outside, but inside it's so very different and I don't know, I find it difficult to distinguish what is Harriet Scott at the moment because it's so completely two different people my outside self and my no makeup stone on my sofa watching EastEnders Harriet Scott self which is so very different but that the glamorous side is kind of just an extension of myself it's not a disguise it's not a mask it's just something that I've kind of all of my interests my life I've kind of put them together and created yeah this extension of me so it's all what's up here is reflected outside Queer for me kind of means um, this kind of free way of thinking, this scale which can continuously change, this kind of outlook on life which, I, I'm in this bubble where everyone thinks like this, but it's kind of a rarity in the big scale of things that people have this queer way of thinking. So yeah, I think it's a way of life and a, I don't know, just an open-mindedness.